Hi guys, how to make money with your camera? Answers to your question, tips and tricks, so let's get right into it now. How to make money with your camera. The last video we were doing, we got cut off at the end. My phone ran out of memory. So to answer a little further on, we were talking about dressing properly for photographing a wedding. Dressing neat, not trying to outdress uh, the people or not trying to imitate the people at the wedding with a suit and a tie and all that sort of stuff. Just dry, dress simple, neat. But one thing I've, I never got to mention before I got cut off was have comfortable shoes on. You're going to be on your feet for many hours, so make sure you have comfortable shoes. Another question that never really got uh, answered too well is why I suggest weddings and starting out doing weddings. They are one of the easiest jobs to get. There's weddings every weekend. Uh, all you need is practice to get going. Once you've done a few, like anything, is, anything you start to do in life, the first time is really hard, like driving a car or learning to walk or whatever. The first time is really hard. The second time is quite a bit easier. The third time's a cinch. After that, there's nothing to it. Uh, wedding photography has got to be one of the simplest things. I think I mentioned on the last video that 95% of the pictures taken at a wedding are just snapshots. Um, why are your snapshots better than anybody else's? Well, you're probably going to crop them. You're going to tip them, make them straight. You're going to maybe even color correct a little bit. Um, really should not have need that too much. But anyways, a little, little bit of fixing up and your pictures will outshine everybody else's. No problem. And the camera equipment was another question that I never really went too thorough on. But uh, the quality of the cameras now... Uh, all I can do is think back to when I was taking wedding pictures. Uh, well, you can tell by the gray hair. It's been a while since I was doing weddings. But anyways, the, the difference in the quality of the cameras now is so fantastic. You could actually go and photograph a whole wedding with an iPhone, and it would be gorgeous with a little bit of cropping and control. Uh, the, the pictures would be great. But don't do it because you're going to look like an amateur holding the phone up there like that. You need a proper camera and a proper lens and make things simple for yourself. Further on the weddings, they are the easiest thing to, to do because there's so many of them, so many to get started. But once you've done a few of them, you're considered a professional photographer. How would you get to be a professional photographer? Just because you do. Who says you're a professional photographer or who claims you're an amateur? It's you do. There's no paper to hang on your wall saying you're qualified for this or you're uh, professional number one, professional AA, whatever. You are a professional photographer when you're out making money at it. It's that simple. Another thing I should maybe talk a little further on is what I call the rule of 45 for posing, having one shoulder closer to the camera than the other, doesn't matter which way. But if, you know, if you're posing a, a couple, you got one facing this way, arm around the other, the other person is facing this way a little bit, you know, perfect setup, um, full length, moving up close. If you want to sort of frame it in, you have them holding each other's elbow so that, you know, it makes a nice frame there. One little tip on this here, when you want them to put their heads closer together, never tell them to put their heads closer together. Tell them to push their cheeks towards each other. If you just tell them to put their heads closer together, you'll get this. You don't want that. Anyway, another quick little tip there. Just tell them to push their cheeks closer together. And problem solved. Okay, where do we go to from there? I got a little tip here for, uh, let's see, it was uh, Glenda. Um, 
worried about uh, what picture she was going to take at, at the church and, uh, you know, what to do, where to be, and all that sort of stuff. So I told her to drive around on a Saturday afternoon, look at the different churches. You'll, you'll see one. There's usually weddings in some of them every weekend. Go in and just as, as be one of the guests. Bride's family will think you're with the groom's family, and the groom's family will think you're with the bride's family. Just go in there. You can even take your phone and take some pictures while you're in there. But you're there to watch the photographer that is actually taking the pictures. Watch him. See what he does or she does. And learn from that. And if you just got your phone, uh, take some pictures of them doing it and uh, what's going on. Easy. No problem. Uh, don't go in with a professional looking camera. Yeah, that would be a real no-no. But uh, as long as you're just going to use your phone, A-okay. Go for it. Hey, you got a subject or a topic we should cover, talk about? Uh, let me know. Write it in the comments uh, down below so I can... Uh, uh, somebody new? Uh, okay. Um, welcome. Uh, put a comment down there so that I know you're here. Uh, maybe subscribe. Push the like button. <laughs> I'm asking for a lot. Go ahead. Push the buttons. Thank you. Bye.